In this video, we are going to introduce the software and some solutions for common issues. First, open the files we provide. The code in the first folder needs to be uploaded to UNO. Inside the second folder is the material we provide for the Android application. Here are the libraries needed. Also, code inside this one needs to be uploaded to Nanobot of Remote Controller. Schematics Performance code It is not required to work with a remote controller or Android phone. And this is the manual for the robot. Next, we open the first folder and the code. Here are several things to notice of the code. There are three libraries that we need to include manually. This one, this, and this one. The SPI function library often comes with the IDE. First, we click on Sketch, Include Library, Add Zip Library. Find the Adip Library folder we have provided. We need to include these three libraries in turn. And you see the color has changed after we include it successfully. Distance. Next, RF24. All the function libraries are included. There are also a few things need to pay attention to. There are two ways to control the movement of the robot. One is to use the Bluetooth communication, the other is to use the remote control. You can choose here. We provide remote control by default. If you use the remote control, configure 0 here. And if Bluetooth communication, change it to 1. Continue. See here is the initial angle information for the fine tuning of 18 servos on the 6 legs of the robot. Adjust the parameters of A, B and G correspond to the servos. A to PWM13, B to PWM14, G to 15. The modification range of all parameters is minus 25 to 25. Every time you modify it, you need to upload the code to UNO to observe the outcome. Next, let's take a look at the code for detecting the light source. Here, we set it to 50 and it can be set as parameters such as 100, 200 or 300 to prevent the misoperation caused by the error of the modules. And the smaller the parameter, the more sensitive the robot is to the light source. Next, we open the device manager, connect the UNO to the computer, and the Arduino UNO is assigned to the COM18. We can also change the COM to a commonly used port, such as COM6. You can choose anyone here. Default option is COM6. Back to the interface here, select board model to Arduino. Select COM6, click Upload. You can see that the code is downloaded to the board successfully. Now I'll introduce how to upload the code to the NanoBot. Double click to open. The function libraries used here have already been installed. No need to repeat the installation. We are now connecting the NanoBot to the computer. There are two versions of processors, the new and the old. We change the port to COM7 first. Now you can see here. Next, select the board model, Arduino Nano. Next, choose processor. The new version uses this one. The old version uses old bootloader. And we provide the new board and choose the new version. Select COM7, then click Upload. It's successful. Close it. Next, we'll explain the issues that may be encountered during assembly and usage, as well as the solutions. 
issue one, turn on the power. You see, we can rotate the rocker arm of the servo. If this happens, you should turn off the power. Unplug the driver board. Notice these two pins and these two. You can manually pull them right and left, back and forth, and then plug them back. Turn on. It can't be rotated by us now. Issue two. Turn on the robot and find that the robot automatically runs the program without receiving the remote control command. Turn on the remote controller. The LED one on it does not flash. Move the joystick. But the robot does not follow the instructions. It may be caused by first NRF24L01 communication module installed in wrong location. Second broken communication module and we've prepared one more for backup third poor contact between the pins and UNO this is the most common cause need to pay attention to these pins and this too now pull these pins right and left at a certain small angle and make it well contact with the metal pin inside the port of UNO when the issue addressed the LED one will flash. Issue 3, the buzzer, the ultrasonic module and the photoresistor module installed on the robot fail to function. Take the buzzer as an example. First check whether the angle and careful of the buzzer is connected right. Next try to change the signal wire. It may be something wrong with the wire. If it still cannot work normally, then check D7. The signal wire goes on to D7. Adjust D7, pull right and left, and plug it back on UNO. Issue 4, wrong installation of the Bluetooth module. If well installed, but still fail to control the robot with Android phone, it may be caused by poor contact between UNO and D1 and DO. Now adjust these two pins, pull them right and left, and plug it back to UNO. 